Now, I want to spend today's minute talking to my bereaved brothers and sisters that have returned to work after a loss. As always, your first responsibility has been to take care of yourself. And one way you should be doing that is by preparing for triggers, triggers that bring on heavy emotional waves of grief. Many times, our grief waves come when we aren't expecting them, don't they? But oftentimes, we know they're coming and can get ahead of them. If tomorrow is one of those days you shared with your late loved one, like an anniversary or birthday or any event you would have shared special times together, recognize that there will be emotional storms. You can't stop the waves. You probably can't stop the pain, but you'll know in advance to watch and prepare. And when you see a wave, you can brace yourself, take a deep breath, and bring it. Let it crash over you. Yes, it still hurts, I know, but once the wave washes away, you aren't left flailing and floundering in a sea of grief. Yes, the waves will always come for us, but over time, they'll get smaller and farther apart, while the love for our lost loved one only continues to grow and anchor us against any storm. And that's today's Grief in the Workplace Minute.